Hello everyone and welcome back. I just ended the, la the last video that I was filming because the storm was coming and I had to get the chicken feed and everything put into the barn before the rain came. And then I was talking to Melissa on her way home from work and it got real windy. So then I ran out on the back porch with my camera and it got really windy. And then it blew the top of two of these trees off. The one spruce, more so, but the other one over there, that was like a, that's a Norway pine or a red pine. It took the top of that one too, or the, the top side of it. What a mess. So I guess in a few minutes, I think there's a little bit more rain coming. I guess I'll get the chainsaw and get this cut up. It even pushed over this metal railing. see it's getting seed heads on it yeah. probably should mow it it's quite long on this side holy crap I didn't realize that dude the mosquitoes are out that's what I was worried about well one stick down we'll be okay we can drive over that There's not any trees down. <laughs> Me too. Didn't bring the little chainsaw. At least you're with. Well, at least I'm with you. Right. They'll be biting me, not you. Right. They do. You are a mosquito magnet. I can't believe how many of the Black Eyed Susans are in there. We need to get that thing figured out for getting the seeds out. Like it didn't work all that great with the raspberries, but you're gonna have a lot of seeds with the blackberries. Well, I think I figured it out. I think that I need to cook them, boil them, and then run them through the strainer. Oh yeah. That'll bring all the seeds to the top. There's some black ones back there too. Almost picking time. Yeah, it's supposed to be right when you're in Louisiana. What are you doing? Just showing us that he's ready for the roaster. Easily taken the power lines down. Oh, it could have. This Maybe one would. This one wouldn't matter over here. That's the job of the the electric company. But from there to the house, that's our job there. Our cost. Solar panels. I saw that.
That's a little bit better. I'll pick that stuff up and haul it out of here tomorrow, probably. I gotta leave in the morning, but it's almost eight o'clock right now. I'll put the brush over in the brush pile that we're making for the rabbits, which I didn't even show in the last, and that was like two videos ago, Melissa and I trimmed up the trees in the front yard, and I still have to do the one that's behind the cat trailer over there because it's so hard to mow underneath it. And then we're just throwing it way back in the back corner of the pasture so the rabbits can get in there. I took a shower this morning about 5 o'clock, and, <laughs> and you guys didn't see it in this video because in the last video I was finishing up putting in the fence posts on the, uh, one of the back pastures, and I, it was 85 degrees today with the uh, dew points in the low to mid-70s, so it was just tropical. <laughs> I mean, everything was wet. I was just soaked with sweat. And now doing this, I'm sweaty again, so I'm going to have to shower again tonight. Good morning, everybody. This morning I ran up to Hibbing, Minnesota, about an hour and 15 minute drive one way. Picked up all those fence posts you see in the back of my truck. There's 31 of them treated uh, fence posts, and I thought that they were five inch, but they're six inch, which is like, wow. Anyway, I got them there for under six, I paid $175 for 31 of them. And I thought they were the five inch which would have been a great deal these were the six inch so it's a super deal if i buy those right now they're 22 dollars 49 a piece new and i paid 175 dollars for the whole lot of them so that was a pretty good deal it was raining then it was raining up until about 10 minutes ago so hopefully it's going to let up i've just when i got back here then i went in and i um just i've taking the time to edit on a video I've been trying to do for the last few days. So later on we'll get them unloaded out of my truck and yeah, I'll find something to do. <laughs> Even the chickens are coming out now. I probably should let them out later on now that the rain stopped. Well I got all the posts unloaded out of my truck. And then I went up to l and after I put this trailer on my truck and I picked up a 14 foot gate. And I got this video finished and I watched it and no mistakes, so now I'm rendering it. It's 10 minutes after 3, 3.09 actually. And then I'll get it uploaded and so I can get it public tonight at 5 o'clock central.
Well, Melissa's gonna call pretty soon on her way home from work, and I've got that video when they're uploading, so I need to do the description and click all the right buttons so that can go public. Almost done running electric fence. At least for this pasture. Still got that whole one over there to do. <laughs> Well, Melissa got home from work, so I'm going to run out there and run a little bit more wire. I got the 14 foot gate hung and then I was going to go over and do the 4 foot gate, the last one. And I have a 42 inch, not a 48. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go buy a 48 in the next couple of days and after that everything is closed in. I'll just have to power it all up and make sure there's no weeds hitting it on the bottom and everything. And I have to chain every one of the gates. They didn't all come with chains, so I gotta figure that out. Get the roof on the on the cattle um, shelter, which we will get in this video yet. And then we're ready. everybody 
just thought I'd get out here early and pick up some of that brush and get it out of the way. We've just been dumping stuff like that in the back corner so it'll make a pile for the rabbits to have some shelter. It's supposed to be a hot one today. That looks a little better. Next time the grass gets mowed, it'll chew all the rest of that up. Now I have to run into Walmart. I have a Walmart pickup this morning. Well, I did my Walmart pickup and then I came over here to L&M and bought a 48 inch gate and some quarts of oil for the tractor.
Oh, I got the rafters up here now and the face board. I'm gonna run in and have some lunch and come out here and bake in the sun some more afterwards. Well, I thought I was doing good. <laughs> I bought two two by fours. Not an, I, I bought. I needed two more two by fours. So I think I have a two by six and old crooked one. I can rip down the middle. I got the whole metal roof on. I have to go through with silicone because you can see the holes from, you know, that's what you get when you are using used metal roofing or metal. So I just go around with silicone and fill those little holes. So I'll get that done. I saved Melissa's mullen plant, <laughs> mullion, whatever it's called. She said she's going to have to harvest that this weekend. She wanted it to completely go to seed but I, I couldn't wait any longer and it was just about to go through to the top anyway.
I put a ribbon up on each side. It could have been prettier, but that's scrap lumber. So, I mean, instead of using it for it, it was just sitting <laughs> in a pile. So there's that one and this one. So if the cows rub up against that, it's not going to push through the wall. There we go. Camera's coming back. Several people had commented to make sure that I did that. And I had already planned on doing it, but I'm still um, kind of pushing around if I want to put like a, what would you call it? A little thing right here that I could shove hay into. Like if we have a bad snowstorm, I could feed them in here. So I was waiting to put that on, but it's like right now, let's just get it done. So that if the cows showed up tomorrow, they could come in here now. If I had my <laughs> ground, I don't have my ground rod for the uh, electric fencer. I looked at today at L&M, but they were out. I want to put two or three of those in. And then I need to run the wire underground on two of the gates so that everything can be hooked together in the in the two pastures. I, yesterday when Melissa and I went out driving on the buggy, I opened up the the electric fence gate over in that far corner, you know, where each one of them clicks. And then I just left it open last night and I haven't been seeing the deer in the pasture here. I see them on the outside of the fence because like right over there, they'll come through and then they'll come through over here. Well, to this morning they were in here eating and then when I came out, they slowly walked and went right through that gate. Tells you where you need to put a deer stand. No, that's just it. Remember that video that we watched where she said she didn't do as many beans because they still had enough beans? Yeah. Yeah, we could have done something like that and just planted something else in its place. Yeah, like dry beans or something. And stuff from the grocery store. The only reason I bought those ones that you see up there, the French style ones, is because they were on sale. I find it just absolutely horrible that it cost you a dollar for a can of canned vegetables. So those were on a special thing, 77 cents. So I grabbed some and for a thing of like Popeye spinach was like $2.69 for a can of frickin' spinach. But it takes a lot of spinach. Yeah, but still. So if you if you were Papa, you wouldn't even be able to afford to be strong. All kind of beans. Just the one row, or are you doing both rows at the same time? Doing both rows at the same time. I didn't know if that was a weed or not. Yep, big weed. Here's a bunch of them. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Pick the peas tonight, and there's more than this many still out there. Pick the green beans. Kind of a poor year for green beans this year. I mean, usually we get probably four or five five gallon buckets a year, and I don't think we'll get more than a half a bucket. But it doesn't matter. We've got a bunch canned downstairs, but still, it probably was the cold and wet spring. I'm not sure. Peas are doing awesome though. A lot more of them coming. I came back here with the tractor and dumped that, the ashes, from the uh, wood boiler on here and mixed up the compost pile. I took the tractor and pushed all this brush back. Makes for more pasture area eventually. 
I think tomorrow I'm going to mow this back field. You can see it because it's dark. I'm going to mow that down because a lot of it's getting seed heads on it. And I still have that one more gate to hang, but it's sitting in the bed of the truck. Probably do that tomorrow also. I will see you guys on the next video.